everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be going on another toy hunt video. It's probably going to be a toy hunt video. I don't think this is going to be a vlog video, but my boy John, you guys know John. He's been on multiple toy hunts before. He helped us out when when finding stuff. He's always going to random stories, checks, brick seeking stuff. He, he was a childhood friend that I've known for a very long time, and uh, it's kind of weird how it all turned out that he ended up being a collector and I had the channel. It's just a very crazy coincidence, but he went to Walmart after he got off work in a different location. It's the, it's, we have two Walmarts. He went to the one location. They had the Decade of Dominant Shipper with the Elite 79 Taker and stuff. So he's going to grab me some stuff from there. He's about to pick me up and we're going to go to the other Walmart right by the house because he actually lives in my neighborhood, which makes it an even smaller world, which is insane. But he's going to come pick me up. We're going to showcase the figures that we got and we're going to check out this other Walmart. Maybe they'll have them, but uh, I'm going to show you guys the text message real quick. <laughs> So this is the photo that he sent me, guys. You guys can see there is a shipper at our one location, and I love this Undertaker in the middle. I think it's super badassery. What I could probably do is in, instead of showing you guys this, I'll pull up an actual photo on the screen so you guys won't see this terrible quality, but you guys can see the shipper there. I kind of low-key want to buy that damn Undertaker shipper and hang it up on the wall. How badass is that? But you guys can see it has all of the different figures there. They also had Elite Series 78 with, you guys know, uh, they had Kofi, Riddle, Naomi, Maverick, R-Truth, and Randy Orton, which had been hitting for a while. I may end up grabbing the extra Matt Riddle for a fix-up or a custom or something, but I plan on going to the, the other location right by the house. If those have, you know, extras of those figures, I may grab them for fix-ups and different things that we can do on surgery, because I gotta do a surgery video. And I plan on plugging all these figures in there. Maybe we can do some cool fix-ups with Ultimate Edition Rock, some Decade figures, some other figures, and just kind of see what we can get going. Maybe Elite 79 hit my other location, so we're gonna see. I think it is weird, though, that Undertaker is Elite Series 79, but they shipped this, this Elite 79 Taker with Elite 78, so I'm not sure if they have Elite 79 in the back, or maybe my other location has it, but we're gonna find out, guys. I'll let you guys know when John gets here, and we'll, uh, we'll hook up, and we'll see what's going on. It's good, dude. Not bad. Still shot. They had the fingers. I know, right? Man, it's such a good feeling when you actually find the figures you want. I bet everybody watching can relate to that. I brought my own mask this time, so. Oh, okay. They had one guy, as I was looking through him, he kept walking by, and I feel like he was wanting to look too, but I was like, taking up so many of them. Oh, so you think he was like intimidated? I don't know. I don't know if he was trying to, but after I left, I didn't see him come back, so I don't know if he was trying to look for the triggers or not. But I'm hoping this one more has Elite 79. Yeah, I need I need a couple Elite 80 Kyle O'Reilly's. That's what I need. Because, you know, they sent me the Chase variant instead of the War Games attire. Nice. And it's like, yeah, that's the good. Yeah, it's but it's the crappy version. Right. Like, the Chase variant is usually the better version. But in this case, it was the crappy version. The one time right. they sent me the Chase variant, it's the opposite. So I need the, the War Games attire Kyle O'Reilly. So if anybody down below has a Kyle O'Reilly that you'd like to sell or trade, let me know. What did we get back here? Where are they in the trunk? In the trunk. So he's got the figures in the trunk. Uh, we'll take a look at them when we get back from this Walmart. But what we get, we got one Decade of Dominance Orton, one Decade of Dominance Cena, one Decade of Dominance Undertaker, and then we got a extra Survivor Series John Morrison. That's all I wanted to get. They did have Elite 78, like I said, but they are, uh, hopefully this other location, like I said, has the Elite 79 and possibly them again, because if they have extras, I'll probably buy extras for fix-ups and stuff like that. So I guess we'll just have to see. But I'll let you guys know when we get to Walmart. Gotta get out here on the highway here and, uh, yeah. All right, guys, we're here at Walmart. Literally, it took like two seconds, so we're here. We're going to go up in there and see what they got. I'm going to switch recording over to my phone because it's a lot more discreet. Recording on my phone is just a lot less on my anxiety, so I'm going to switch cameras, and uh, we'll see you guys when we get in there, and hopefully they have something, and then we'll show everything that we got. All right, guys, here we are at Walmart. Yeah, they have had Jack, man. Yeah, I think, I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be the same one. Guys, it doesn't look like they have much. They don't have the shipper or nothing. This guy looks like he's looking for something, but I don't think they have the shipper. It doesn't look like they have anything. Look at this. They're like rotting. <laughs> like 80 of them. So 100 Marvel Legends. Let's check the WWE. You see, there's a box right here, but it's not. I think it's, it's, the, it's these rings right here. Nothing, nothing. These basics will rot here forever. When I came here and bought everything, I bought it. You remember? Did you see that video? When I bought everything, they had a bunch of these Finn Balors. They restocked that same Finn Balor. They restocked the Lana, the Seth, 
They didn't have Undertaker, but that's still here. Same set. I mean, dude, look at this section. It's trash. Terrible. They don't have the shipper. Well, this dude just wheeled out something, but who knows what it's got. I don't know what that's got on it. I don't want to be obvious. All right, he just dropped it off. I don't know what this is, though. I doubt it's the shipper. It doesn't look like they have anything, guys. Pretty terrible, to be honest with you. The other Walmart had a shipper. This one seems to not have anything, but I think John's over there talking to somebody or something like that. Yeah, I think John's talking to employees. He does a lot better at talking to employees than I do. I can't talk to nobody. Do you see that guy bring out that stuff? Uh-uh. He brought out, like, a whole ship container thing, but I don't know if uh, it's that stuff right there. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Jeez. It doesn't look like they have nothing. We can try big lots if you want. Jeez, bro, what a bust. I didn't even have the spray paint I needed. Double bust. They're gonna get these figures in. They'll, they'll put them on display next year. You think next year? Yeah, a year. Like, it don't even matter anymore. I bet they'll, uh, I guarantee you they'll be out in the next two, three days. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll check again. Actually, I bet it'll be like a week. I'll come randomly and they'll have them all. Yeah. They did that with, with the AEW stuff. Yeah, there. they didn't even put the shipper on. Well, I think they had the whole Yeah, thing. they just put it on the shelves. Yeah. They're going to do the same thing, I guarantee it. Yep. Yeah. Walmart does not put out wrestling shippers. Hey, that's that dude that's pointing out there. Is that the guy right there? Yeah. Oh my god, it is. What figures is he I've been saying. Dude, what are the odds of that? <laughs> dude, do you guys remember that video? I'll plug in the footage right here. You guys can see that's the same guy we just saw the same guy dude what are the odds of that he came here looking for them yeah there. that's so crazy he's got a star wars figure though that is the same guy dude. that's insane what are the odds of that dude that's crazy anyways all right guys we're back in the car now i need to put my seat belt on safety first I find it hilarious that we actually saw that same guy that did the Macho Man impression the last time we saw the AEW figures. If you guys remember that clip, that is so funny to me that the last time me and John really went on a toy hunt together, that guy was there. And then the next time we go on a toy hunt together, that guy's there again. What are the odds of that? I've literally never seen that guy outside of uh, me and you doing that AEW figure video. And John's never seen that guy either, so I think that is absolutely hilarious. But I guess what we're gonna do now is go to Big Lots, and we're gonna see what they have. They may not have anything, but what I will do is once we hit Big Lots and we go back to the house, um, I'll show you guys what John found at the other location and I'll uh, show case all those and I'll probably put up a review of those tomorrow and then we have ringside fest news tomorrow so that'll be a two-in-one upload for tomorrow but anyways guys I'll see you when we get the big lots it's literally right across the road here so uh, see you in a couple minutes all right ladies and gentlemen we are at big lots they got the Seth Rollins they got the Braun Strowman top talents they got some WrestleMania basics still it seems like they have the same exact stuff that we saw last time top talents AJ Styles a couple of those we also have Finn Balor back here it looks like so I mean, it's, it's it's you know they have some decent stuff. Like if you need fodder or something, I just wish they weren't charging twenty. If they weren't charging twenty, it'd be a whole different story. But since they're charging twenty and ten for the basics, the ten for the basics isn't bad. But the twenty for the elites, I don't know, man. I, I just can't get behind it. There's a couple WrestleMania basics up here. And I don't remember these having big rings here. No, I think this is no. I actually have one of these for no reason. I think I did a review of it <laughs> for no reason. You got Kofi and Seth and the other fan. See, I would get some of these, but there's no point in grabbing them because they're like $12 on Amazon. And there's, it's just not new stuff, so there's no point in grabbing Unless, I mean, the WrestleMania leads, maybe. They don't even have Booker, I don't think, anymore. AJ, like a yeah. AJ shell forms yeah. everywhere. Bless his heart. Great perform, but the figure is just—I think it's the head sculpt, maybe. Half of them, his whole hair is off his head. Yeah, they have five heads. That's usually the problem. 
Oh, same stuff as last time, shaking my head. All right, guys, I just got back home. We have the figures in hand right here. I want to sit down so we can take a closer look at these figures that we got. A huge shout out to John again for the hookup on finding these things. Hopefully our other location, the one right by the house, ends up getting them soon. But first figure we got, guys, is we did pick up another John Morrison from the Survivor Series set. I think this is a really awesome figure. Can do some surgery, some different-ish with this, so I'm happy to have another John Morrison. We also grabbed a couple de Decade of Domination figures. We have the John Cena right here. Definitely going to be doing some surgery on this guy. I have some great ideas for this because this figure is not even accurate, and it kind of makes me upset just to look at, but probably a review coming soon of all of these Decade of domination figures. They did not have Mark Henry or Natalia, but they did have The Undertaker, John Cena, and Randy Orton. And Randy Orton's probably the one that I'm most excited about. I know it's actually kind of a boring figure and it's probably going to rot on shelves and it's not going to be very, you know, appetizing to most, but I've been waiting on a debut Orton in this attire forever. I've been wanting customs and stuff of it, so I can't wait to review this. Head sculpt looks amazing. I love the attire, and this is great, man. Can't wait to get in here and look at this. But there is Randy Orton. You got, you got the Orton, you got the Taker, you got the Cena, and you got the Morrison. I hate that we didn't get the actual shipper in the video, but again, he was right there after work. He went ahead and swung by, and then he stopped to get me, so we go to the other location. Didn't want to backtrack back and forth, but this is what we got today. Very excited for it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt. I think that the shipper will be in soon, and we can take a look at it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. A huge shout-out to Nick Barrett for this comment on our last video. He says, Walter Lowkey looks like a real-life boss baby, and that is so funny because he does. He looks like a grown man in a baby body, but he's also a grown man, but he's actually a baby face. Kind of reminds me of like a baby face Nelson or a boss baby or or like I said, the guy from the Rugrats or that, that baby from that Rugrats Angelica Nightmare Dream episode. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the Toy Hunt video. Tomorrow we have Ringside Fest, man. Gonna be excellent. Cannot wait for that ish. I cannot freaking wait to see what we get from Ringside Fest. So stay tuned, guys. Turn on the bell for notifications. Reviews coming in the morning as well as Ringside Side Fest tomorrow evening, so stay tuned for it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.